Hello, I am Bones McKay. And I am Ursula Gray. And today, we are back to talking about the books of Avo. What are they? They're, they're something I started when I was 12, and now I've decided to continue. It's basically Aragon meets Great Gatsby, but with lesbian dragon riders and dragons. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to be talking about Faria who is the the main dragon um, in all of this. So I guess I'm going to talk about the original Faria from like those those little baby books. I'm going to talk about her in the current draft, and Ursula's going to talk a little bit about Dara in her. So, Faria. She's never really been a character I care about all that much. It's kind of funny because like, her and Julia ended up being like the main characters of Avo in the end, but... Throughout all my other drafts, like they didn't, they didn't matter all that much. They were kind of boring, to be honest. The fairy just kind of filled the role of like fire sage because there's um there's like a magical person for each element, and fairy was just like, well, I need a fire sage. What if she's a dragon? Um, she's always been a dragon, so that's cool because I think dragons are neat and pretty. Uh, she used to have a thing for Aaron, I think. Oh in God. the very original one, she she liked him. She wanted to smooch him. But now it, it really doesn't make sense at all. If I can't even imagine them as a ship. Because Aaron needs to be more, like, tough. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's funny. Um, oh, and you can you can watch about all these other characters because we've made some more videos about it. Uh, yeah, there's not much to her. She used to have a traumatic backstory. She still kind of has a traumatic backstory. It just has different elements to it. Uh, she's 700 years old. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think she might have been younger before. She might have been more Tree and Aaron's age. But, well, I guess Tree and Aaron aren't the same age either. No. Wow. She used to be more of Tree's age. Everyone was 300 in my original drafts. Now she's 700 and Aaron's like 89. I guess I'll talk about like current her because like that's I that's all I got for past <laughs> fairy. She's like not really something I thought about. Uh, she's very hot headed. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, she's sassy. Uh, she's a dragon. I guess I could talk a little bit about dragons because you're probably looking at her and you're like, "That's not a dragon," and it's true. <laughs> uh, I don't think Ursula ended up designing her dragon form. No, not yet. Yeah. So basically, in Avo, dragons can take kind of um, not a human form. It's more of a elvish kind of form. But yeah, they take on that form, and then they can take on a big, big boy dragon form. It's, yeah, their human-y form, elven form, whatever. It's a bit scaly. They tend to be naked because they when you turn into a dragon it rips all your clothes up incinerates <laughs> them so why bother <laughs> <laughs> yeah why even bother wearing clothes for the most part um unless you have someone to hold your clothes for you you're like hold my clothes and then you know <laughs> that's sort of where juliet comes in i guess um <laughs> yeah so kind of the bio the biology of dragons uh there are only female dragons there are no male dragons i guess sexually like like i i don't know gender wise i'm sure there could be like a boy dragon who's just identifies as male and is male but you know you you know how that works you're on my channel i hope um <laughs> but yeah they're all female and in order to reproduce they need to find someone of a different like species basically like either like elves or angels or humans they usually get with elves they've always kind of got with elves because elves kind of balance them out because dragons again hot-headed not just a fairy thing they're very fighty and they've they basically would get with an elf and that would balance them out and it was like a sacred bond and of like dragon rider and dragon and they'd smooch usually and then they they might start a family together and the other thing about uh dragon biology is that they only have one child ever in their entire lives and they can kind of 
have that child at the age of a thousand. That's when they're mature enough to to do that. <laughs> uh, they they lay an egg, and said egg uh, takes like hundreds of years to hatch. Yep. And so yeah, Furia uh, never met her parents because her mother was like killed in the uh, dragon hunts, where humans were like straight up killing dragons, which sucks. But like. I'm not going to say anything, but dragons might have started things a little bit. (laughs) Um, They don't really respect humans at all. Yeah, and sort of like if you kill a a dragon or like you smash an egg, you basically completely destroy that line because it's it's like a it's a direct lineage. There's no like branching tree of lineage for dragons, if that if that makes sense. Um, there was like a set amount at the beginning of time, and it's only going down. Well, I guess like I guess some would stay around, but you know, <laughs> if if um, yeah, if if uh, like someone who hasn't had their egg yet is killed or an egg, I guess is smashed, it's over. That's so sad. Yeah. So fairy is like the last red dragon. Yep. Unless she ends up having an egg in the future, because again, she's seven hundred. She's she's not thinking about starting a, starting like a family or anything. Um, the the one kind of hiccup in all of this is that the elves kind of were all murdered like <laughs> three hundred years ago. All of the elves died, so dragons haven't really even been in a relationship in a while. They've like collectively been dumped by hum- not humanity by time and space (laughs) (laughs) the tallow (laughs) so feria has taken to this whole like um all the elves are dead thing pretty poorly uh considering she considering that she was a sage um 300 years ago when they were trying to stop the god of darkness from returning and so she was on the little team that was trying trying to stop all that and they kind of failed a little bit and all the elves died so she's a little bit guilty and well i guess she feels guilty i don't think she's actually guilty it's not really her fault and yeah so she's been dating humans on and off uh doesn't really work out at all she's not great with humans she doesn't really get invested in them because she's like "Eh, they're just gonna die one day anyways so yeah she's She's got some issues. She's a bit of a bad girl. And now she's on a, a brand new quest. And she's found a brand new human to toy around with. And that that's our Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> See her video to find out more on her. And yeah, Fairy is fun. She's also got problems, but who doesn't? You know, my favorite character is Lul. So, like, let's not even... <laughs> let's not even... Uh, yeah. Ursula, you got anything to say? Yeah, um, so Feria, she's very, like, like Bones was saying, she's very fiery, very hot-headed. She's also very, uh, she's very, like, okay, I'm just gonna be blunt, she's a very sexy lady, <laughs> <laughs> as are many of the dragons. So in Avo, in the current iteration, it's kind of set in the 20s, like Bones said, um, and, uh, it's... It's made note of that the flapper style is based off of the look of dragons. So, like, um, you know, they're wearing really short skirts because dragons are naked (laughs) Um, compared to, like, maybe a more conservative style previously. Um, And, uh, you know, they're putting beads on their on their dresses to look like, you know, shiny dragon scales. Um, and they're all smoking, like how dragons just breathe smoke. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, the dragons don't love the beaded dress dealio at all because um, it, it was kind of a thing in like the dragon hunting times to use like dragon scale in like clothes and fancy stuff. And they're like, oh, that's so cool that you're wearing um, my grandparent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Fashion. <laughs> um, yeah. So I made her, I based her look very much off of kind of like that flapper look. So she's got kind of like a smoky eye. Her hair is in a little bob. Um, I initially tried like a really, really short style, but it just wasn't working. So I went for something a little bit longer and a little bit more 
feminine, I guess. And she's got, you know, scales on her body. Um, I didn't put her in a flapper dress because obviously she'd object to that and she doesn't really wear clothing. She does take Juliet's clothing, which is why she's wearing the weird skirt and bodice thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but otherwise, she doesn't wear clothes. Yeah, so I, I struggled a bit getting her look because I went very masculine at first. Because um, she... I think I was, like, leaning into the, the toughness a bit too much. Making her too, like, muscular and buff and stuff. And it just wasn't working. Because she is, like, more, like, sensual and... Femme. Femme, yeah. yeah. So I went in that direction. Started working more out femme more. more femme fatale. Totally. Yeah, so that's, that's fair. Yeah, she's got red hair. She beauty. She um, beat you up. She beat you up. She's got the little, not cat eyes, but the the slit pupil. Um, yeah, cat eyes. Yeah, yeah. And Just she's got they're cool. Hell it yeah. makes no sense for like a flying creature to have like those like slit eyes. <laughs> but it's the best. <laughs> they're for ambush predators, right? But it's cool. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's spooky makes her different, <laughs> unique. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll have to work on her dragon form in the future, but I figured we could show off her elven form. Yeah, because it's been a while since we've done one of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's cute. Leave your comments in the, the thing below. I have a migraine, so this might be shorter than usual. I feel like this is the second one I'm doing while sick. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, more Avo to come. Bye. Bye.